What's going on everyone, it's King Tuts Pro. welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create the most killer intro for your YouTube videos in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, if you guys are wanting to step up your game, whether it's going to be for intros, for YouTube subscribe buttons and green screen overlays, like background clips and stuff like that, then this video is for you. Now, I do want to mention that this video is sponsored by Digital Products 669. Now, I will leave two links in the description of this video, whether you are a YouTube creator or a content creator in general. Now, if you click on the second link in the description, you guys can go ahead and buy a subscription license if you want, so you guys can get access to millions of creative assets from graphic to video to web templates and music tracks, as well as stock photos. So it's really cool. It's only for $16.50 a month. So if you guys want to try that out, you're gonna be making content like this, be sure to take advantage of the links in the description. So again, let's go ahead and get started with this really cool video. All right, so in order to install the really cool pack, you're gonna go into the Ultimate Graphics Pack. Once you open up that folder, you're gonna have two folders. One is named Titles, one is Transitions. You're then gonna go into a new uh, Finder window, go into your Home folder, just go to the top, go to Go, go to the Home folder, and you wanna go into the Movies folder, and then you're gonna go into the Motion Templates folder, and then here you're gonna have your Transitions and Titles folder. If you don't have one, create them. Once you do have those folders, you're gonna go into the Titles folder, and you're gonna go into the titles folder in the graphics pack, open this one, and then just drag this one into the titles pack or make a copy, as well as on this one here, you're gonna click on the transitions folder, open that one and drag this pack into the transitions folder. I've already done that, so I'm not gonna do it again. All right, so I have three clips here in the timeline in Final Cut Pro. This video, by the way, is from Shelby Church. If you guys do not know who she is, I suggest you guys check her out if you're in the tech world. If you really like Teslas, I think you will like her channel. Her content is really cool. And so I just wanted to use a quick little snippet of her newest video to show you guys how you could use this really cool pack in this video. So uh, before I do get into the uh, effects and everything, I want to show you a quick little overview of the pack. So if you go into the titles over here on the top left, you're going to go into titles and you're going to see the DP669. Scroll through all of these and I think there's 550 or about 500 plus different types of really cool titles that you can overlay onto your uh, content in the timeline. So I'm not going to go through every single one. I'm going to show you guys one of the coolest ones that I think. You do have many, many categories. You have 3D devices. So I, if I hover over them, you're gonna see that they're gonna be animated. So if I kind of go over to the beginning and I push play, you're gonna see it looks just like that. And these would be really great for like a ad or a campaign. Here you have audio spectrum as well. If you're gonna be creating like a podcast or maybe a song or whatever the case may be, you then have backgrounds so you can change the color. All of these are fully customizable by the way. So, and if I go down, you're gonna have emojis. You're gonna have call outs here. These are animated by the way. So if I go down, you're also gonna have kind of these really cool animated hands. We have more icons, these are animated as well. You also have info bars like this, looks just like that. And you have isometrics here, like bars and graphs and stuff like that. You have loading icons that look just like this. And we have logo reveals, which is what we're gonna be doing. As you can see here, there we go. And you have, you know, lower thirds, you have motion shapes, you have overlays, and you also have promotional items, YouTube, which is really cool. And then you also have your like really cool slideshow kind of templates here that you can change and customize. You also have your really cool titles here. And then if we go into the transitions on the bottom right, you're going to have the ultimate graphics pack here as well. And you have 20 different transitions. These are really great as well, and we're gonna be using those as well. So, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a intro to the beginning of the video, assuming that this is going to be the beginning of this video, right? Of course it's not, because I trimmed it to kind of make it make sense. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the titles here, and we're gonna go into the background first. You can go through and see which ones you like the best. So I'm gonna go with this one, background number five. I'm gonna click and drag this below our media press shift Z, go to the end and trim this to the same length as this clip. Now, if I go back and I push play, 
It's gonna look just like that, super neat. And if I click on the actual title itself, we're gonna change the fill color. You have one and two, so you can change this to a different color. You can do like yellow, which is the primary kind of color theme that we're gonna be going for in this video. And then the other color, which is black, you can change this to another color if you want. I think black looks great just how it is. And once that is set, what I want to do is add a intro. So we're gonna go down to the intro section or category. So we're gonna go down. So we're gonna add logo reveal number nine, I believe. So we're gonna click and drag this to the very beginning by itself. Okay, don't, you can overlap it if you want. Now, if you go into the inspector tab and you click on this little T icon, this will allow you to actually change all of the properties. So what we're gonna change first is the logo placeholder. So you're gonna have this little arrow and what we're gonna do is we go into the project settings. We're gonna click on the logo reveal. We're gonna click on this. We're gonna select your profile picture and click apply clip. And so this now applies it there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the text on the left side. So instead of it saying creative, we're gonna type in Shelby Church for her actual name. Now, if I go back and push play, it'll look just like that, super cool. And now if I go into the color section here, we can change the color gradient. So we can go about maybe here. We're gonna select gradient A and we're gonna change this one to kind of like a yellowish almost, something like that. So gradient B and we're gonna change this one to like a, maybe like a limeish green. And once that's set, we're gonna skim through the video again and you're gonna see another one here, this outer ring. If I go through, you're gonna see that we can change this one. So gradient A, we can change as well. So it'll play through. And then maybe the smaller ones, we're gonna change as well. So instead of it being blue, so accent B, we're gonna change that one to a limeish green. Now, once we're here, it's gonna be a little long, so we're gonna trim this video down quite a bit. And from here, it just kinda of cuts off, so we're gonna go into the transitions. We're gonna to go to the graphics pack transitions uh, category. I think number eight looks really cool, so I'm gonna click and drag number eight in between those two clips. So now if I go back and push play, it'll look just like that. And again, you can change and customize the transition color. So fill one, we're gonna change that one to orange to kinda of match that first color if I push play. Looks just like that. So in order to add the YouTube subscribe button, we're gonna go back to the titles, we're gonna go into the graphics pack, and we're gonna go and find the, uh, not the lower thirds, but they're called, I think, promotional. So we're gonna go to, here we go, promotional items, and they have a lot of promotional items. So I'm gonna do is click and drag this above your media and push play. And you can do something like this. I think this one looks cool, so I'm gonna drag this one above our media, and I'm gonna trim this one to about here. I don't want it to be too long either. So right now the subscribe button is on her face, which is not what we want. We wanna move these on either of the corners. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the scale a little bit, make it a bit smaller. We're then gonna to go to position all. I'm gonna click and move it on the X axis. So we're gonna go about left. We're gonna go down, so move this down, just like that. So now if I push play, It'll animate just like that. Super cool, you have the subscribe button as well as the bell notification. Once that is set how we want it, we can change the color of this as well. You can change the red to like a, a blue button or a yellow button to kind of really match that theme. But I think red would make more sense because it matches the YouTube. Let's say you wanted to change the white. Maybe you want that to be maybe dark mode. So we're gonna change the background of this to dark. So we're gonna move that to kind of something like this. And now we're gonna change the bell icon to white. So we're gonna move this all the way up and kind of move this more closer to the white. So now we have kind of like that dark mode, which is super cool. And I think it fits the uh, the atmosphere and the, the kind of overall mood of this video. And right here, I kind of want to add like a, a really cool glitch TV scan effect. So it's gonna be under overlays. So we're gonna do overlay number 10. We're gonna click and drag this above our media. We're gonna kind of zoom in here and trim this length and move it right in between. If I push play, it can act as a transition and this one will be really cool. So the only thing we're missing now is the actual like, comment, and subscribe. And we can change that and swap it for this one. We're gonna go into the titles again and we're gonna go under promotional and we're gonna go down and select promotional item number 12. So we're gonna click and drag this above our media, trim it down to length. So now if I push play, Again, we're gonna have to change these. So go into the inspector tab, go to the main placeholder, go to your project window, select your profile picture, click apply clip, click back on the promotional item title. And now you can of course change the scale of the placeholder. You can go into scale, we can make this bigger, or we can pan this down so it fits the frame a little better. Instead of it saying like video, you can do something like leave a like, you can do something like that. You can change the color of this, so maybe you don't want it to be black, you want it to be white. You're gonna go where it says text number one, click on this box, 
move it over and make it white. But I think I like the rest how it is. So if I push play, it'll animate just like that. Now we also have cursor here and it's white. So if you want to make it so it matches like the Mac cursor, which is kind of black with the white outline, as you can see here. So cursor, we're going to change this one to like a black color almost. And then we're going to have an, an outline. So the cursor outline, we're going to make this white. So now it looks like the Mac icon, as you can see here. So if I push play, it'll look just like this. Super cool. You have like really cool motion uh, shapes as well. So if you click on these and drag this piece above this one, I'm going to change the color again to yellow and I'm going to move this or to the left here. So I'm going to move it to the left. Now this is right above her face. So we're going to drag this right below it. So now if I push play, it'll look just like that. So you can create something really fun like that. And again, you can change the color. So maybe you want it to be white. Let's go into the swatches and change that to white. So now it looks like it's part of that as well. Super cool. Another cool thing you can add is the info bars. So this one will look really great with this video. So I'm going to first delete the background and just show you what it would look like without it. So I'm going to go change the scale of this to the original scale. And we're going to move the info bar right above, which is number 14. We're going to trim this down. You can do something like this and add infos here. So you can change the text instead of it saying top tips for beginners. You can do Tesla, something like that. You can change the line spacing. So you can have it closer together or more separate, something like that, just to give you an idea. If I push play, you can do something like this. Maybe you want to change the color. Again, you have all these that you can change. So the main one will be shape 2A. So we'll go back to the color wheel and we can change this to yellow. And then the second color, we can change that to a more lime green color. It'll look just like that. Super neat. And of course it animates out. I might want to make this a little longer. That's pretty much the pack. Of course, there's a lot that you guys can do, but there's just too much to cover in this video. I want to keep it relatively short for you guys. Short and sweet as always. Last but not least, we can always add those really cool and fun emojis, something like this. But yeah, if you guys found this video helpful at all for your next YouTube video or content, whether it's for social media, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, then please leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below what other videos you want to see next. So until then, peace out.